Hey what's up guys, with Android HD here and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to update your bootloader to latest version OC1 and of course how to update your modem to latest version OC1 this may be a tutorial for these guys who ask me how to kind of Wi-Fi find a solution to their Wi-Fi problem so their Wi-Fi doesn't connect to any kind of Wi-Fi network or doesn't even turn on, turn on. And uh, this guide may help you guys because we are updating the bootloader and the modem to latest, the latest version of the Lollipop, so OC1. Right now I have in front of my calculate my in my face uh, my monitor along with Odin 3 version 3.10. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description with all the files you need in order to complete this tutorial. Please follow my steps very very careful carefully um, right here I got my USB cable along with my phone and uh, first of all we're gonna get into download mode uh, how to do that we'll do it the hard way because I don't uh, know if uh, any of if every one of you benefits of an uh, advanced reboot menu so how do you get into download mode let me focus on, on the device volume down button along with the home button and the power button press them simultaneously for a couple of seconds until the screen turns off watch my fingers carefully then let them out then immediately after you feel a vibration press them again and you will get into download mode so we're into download mode. Sorry for this messy screen. Yeah. And I have connected my USB cable. I'm gonna put the phone here. Right now in Odin, you will have selected BL, which stands for. Let me focus. Which stands for bootloader. You just have to select this file. And at AP section. All you have to do is to select this GSM modem, OC1 along with the LTE modem. Go into options, take care. Go into options, take caution right here, you have to anti code reboot. So, binary size should be 63.5 megabytes, and uh, your device should be added. You'll have to see this along with this uh, COM7 port. Um, if you don't see this, maybe your PC is installing Samsung drivers, so you'll have to wait a couple of minutes before proceeding to what I'm doing right now. But uh, when uh, your application here looks like mine, all you have to do is to press start. And it will flash the modem along with the bootloader. Um, now, to make sure everything worked alright, we will repeat this, um, this, uh, these steps twice. And after you see pass, all you have to do is to leave the window as it is right now, get into, rec in, get into download mode again by uh, following the same procedure I did couple of moments ago, the volume down along with the home button and the power button until the device turns off, then vibration and then press them again. Yeah, volume up and again into download mode, connecting the USB cable again. As you may see it says added. Now we'll have to hit start again. So let me focus the camera. Okay, we'll have to hit start again. And we're gonna do like this. Start. Okay, we're gonna see pass from one moment to another. And yeah, it's passed. Um, right now, hit reset in Odin. And uh, as you may see, auto reboot is auto ticked. So 
So leave it like this. Right now, we're gonna get into download mode again. So I'm not gonna be showing you again because it will get out of focus. And but follow the same procedure to get into download mode again. Sorry for the background noise, guys. It's the it's my PC. My camera is standing right next to it, and yeah. Download mode again. Added again on the audio. And now we'll get into AP this time section, AP section, and we'll get this Wi-Fi fix dot tar. Binary size 11.6 megabytes, and after you've done it, you're uh, ready to hit start. Pass. Well done. Mission accomplished. Let's uh, check out the basement version and the Google version. We're going to be using phone info application from uh, Google Play Store. And now my device is booting up. As you may see, I'm still running KitKat. Believe it or not. Um, Lollipop isn't that stale for Samsung Galaxy S4 right now, and I guess it won't be, it won't ever be. Um, Samsung <laughs> is kind of over bloating their over bloated, their already over bloated VMOS, and uh, yeah, that causes big lags. Sorry for the ding 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 ding. Um, let me turn off the speaker. I'm on 2G, that's why it does it like that, because uh, it auto-converts from t 3G to 2G to safeguard battery when I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Um, that's an exposed tweak. But, let's get into really business. And I'm going to show you that I'm running... I'm running OC1. Let me turn the brightness. I'm running OC1. Well, I will turn off. There we go. Okay. I hope you see it, guys. I'm running OC1. I hope you see it because it's kind of hard to manipulate behind the camera. Yeah, so it's OC1 baseband and the bootloader version. Okay. So. Oh, that was it for today guys, I hope you like it, if you did please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. Uh, thanks for the good words and the good comments, uh, I am trying to read every single one of them and uh, I gotta tell you guys, some of them are linked comments and uh, unfortunately I can, I'm not able to reply because uh, YouTube doesn't let me do the, that. I don't know why, I have searched a solution but uh, I couldn't find anything. Um, it seems to me that uh, you'll have to recreate an, an Google account in order to come into my YouTube channel and um, yeah, so if I'm not replying to any one of you guys, you should know that your comment is... Uh, is uh, linked and I can't hit just I can't hit the reply button because it doesn't exist it doesn't exist and um, yeah that's why I I'm trying to answer every single question you you ask me and uh, yeah trying to be as helpful as helpful as possible um, thanks for more than almost actually 1200 subscribers it means a lot to me again and I hope you like this video until next time, see ya. Wake Android is out. Bye bye.